Oh, no. I'm for Shanil Tucker going to Woolmers High School. Yes. Thank you. We also had um, the top performing boy and girl from um, Nagazid Primary. I don't know if they are here. I doubt it. But we will have to make a presentation to them um, separately. Um, Kareen O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. Member of Parliament. Um, the work is worship the mayor has left. The honorable councillors are still here. I wish to, first of all, give thanks to you, the parents, because you are the ones who have produced these wonderful children, these bright children, that has made this occasion possible. And of course, with the help and the blessing of the Almighty. But coming further down to earth, we have some other people to thank, like Mr. Denver Finikin, the chairman of the Education Committee, among many other things who is more or less a friend and benefactor for East Central St. Catherine, for allowing us to use his premises and for assisting with the um, refreshments. I want you to put your hands together for Mr. Finnegan. I wish to thank also members of the East Central team that are here that have put a lot of work behind the scenes. Ms. Kadia Francis, Mrs. Mrs. Swaby, um, Mrs. Deepak, and all the other members who have put out all this effort to make this possible. But most of all, we have to thank the Member of Parliament for his generosity and his vision. And I wish to correct a figure, since I am a man of figures, that was mentioned by the Chairman, Mr. Finnegan, earlier, that the Member of Parliament has committed about 30% of his CDF budget. I'm pleased to say that when you look at all his projects for education and for training, it is more than 50% of the budget. And that is an investment in the young people of East Central St. Catherine. So I think you need to give him a round of applause for that. This afternoon we had the back to school event in East Central St. Catherine where we presented to the residents support for tuition, support for school books. We made a commitment in the 2011 general elections that we were going to be big on education and this is the first step in that commitment. We are pleased that we have the Cedar Grove High School which is under construction. Uh, we made a commitment to the Independent City Primary School, the top performing boys and girls and also Nagazet Primary School top performing boys and girls were also able to make a contribution to the tertiary students in terms of tuition and book support. We hope to make it's an annual event and we want to make it bigger and better uh, next year and we are asking the corporate citizens of Portmore to sign on and to support the Education Fund of East Central St. Catherine. We committed $4 million out of the CDF to this process and we were oversubscribed by $2 million. We had over $6 million of requests and therefore we recognize that the CDF might not be sufficient to deal with the demands that are obvious. 
therefore we are seeking the support of corporate Jamaica, corporate Portmore to come on board to partner with us to make education accessible and affordable to the students here. We are also seeking to make the constituency and the wider Portmore the knowledge city of Jamaica and we are seeking to attract into the constituency and into Portmore universities and we will be having discussions with uh, different entities to ensure that that becomes a reality sooner rather than later. Knowledge, they say, is power and we want to empower the people through knowledge. Thank you.